Hi, Cancer, and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you messages for mid-month of April. And we're going to take a look at the next two weeks for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. I'm going to look at your end and the opposite end. That could be a person that you're dealing with. That may be a career or um, even education for some of you. What I'm getting right off the bat is I'm seeing in birds, okay, birds. And even this morning, and I wasn't sure who it was for, but I knew it was for one of my readings for YouTube. But I was seeing a particular bird. Now, this particular bird I saw looks like a little finch. You know what finch looks like. Or maybe some of you might know it like a red-breasted robin. It's got the orange belly on it, though. So it, it kind of looks like that, but it's a smaller, it's not, it's not the robin, it's a little bit smaller than that. So I don't know if that particular bird is it, or you just might be seeing birds. And some of you, this could be, I feel free as a bird. Mm, and there could be some of you that feel a little restricted, like a bird would be in a cage, but this is more uplifted, so I don't think that's going to be for a lot of you in this particular group. And we have the card of peace, okay? And I like that. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. That is absolutely beautiful because this bird is probably a representation. Some of you could be seeing doves, white birds, maybe. But it also came out with worry. So when we have a sense of peace within, we don't worry. When we have a sense of peace and calm within, we feel free as a bird. And for some of you, you're seeing a bird and it's like, Okay, it's bringing you absolutely opposite energy. This is These are polar opposites, right? Polar opposites. Some of you could be dealing with that type of, in a relationship as well. But really, for a lot of you, this is very uplifting energy where I feel free as a bird. You know what I mean? You just feel at peace. You feel good. So whatever you've been worrying about, you're getting ready to come into a place of peace, a place of, I'm hearing the words inner knowing within yourself, you know, and that's how we get that is it, that's how we get to a place of inner peace. So I'm going to pull your side and I will pull the other side as well. And we have the two of pentacles, which uh, I don't remember. One of the other signs got the two of pentacles in the same place. And the two of pentacles, you know, that's balancing your finances, balancing your money, worrying about your money. How am I going to do this? Okay. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, having two different jobs, two different avenues. This is some of you balancing learning uh, education and balancing your money, you know, your career. So this is basically balancing too. This could be balancing your working out of your home and taking care of your little kids at the same time. So this is all about balance, but equally in order to balance and juggle our finances, we have to have our emotions in balance. If we are coming from a place of worry, oh my God, I got to figure out, you know what I'm talking about? We've all done that where we, oh my God, we've all done that. Probably a few of us lately, right? Where, where we really feel that worry. And when we're in the moment of worry, we can't think clearly. We do not get that clear, concise direction. Our emotions get kind of stirred up and they get blocked unable to really see things and we stay kind of in that negative thought process but when we let go of the worry and we come into that place of peace we see new opportunities and you have a brand new opportunity this is an apology for some of you coming in from someone this is an opportunity that is going to bring you the money that you need to help balance out your finances now, for some of you, it is a smaller level 
perhaps even a little smaller than what you were used to, but it's enough to make ends meet. This is coming in. They're saying, do not juggle back and forth anymore. So cancer, you can't be in two different minds going, oh my gosh, it's okay. No, it's not. It's okay. A second, the gates open up and I feel you guys are actually in this group. This opportunity is going to come in in the next two dash three weeks. So it might be the very beginning of May, but whatever it is, it's going to make you feel a little bit more calm, safe, a little bit, a baby steps to security is what this is. Now this could be <clears throat> in, in relationship. This is an, uh, an apology from a child, somebody younger. And for some of you, this is you being out of balance, whether, mm, I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So again, that back and forth energy. And we do have the two of wands that just came out. Okay. So we have the two of wands, which is a person who has made a decision in their life as to what direction they want to go. The ace of, of wands, right? Starting a new venture, starting a new path. But this is making a choice that is going to make them very excited. When we're talking about wands, that's about passion, creativity, moving into the arts, the direction of, right? But whatever it is, is making a choice that really brings satisfaction in you. And we have with it the Queen of Swords. Cutting out all of this negativity is, is going to help you put yourself back into balance and make the decision you need to make, whether that be standing idle, see, standing idle with confidence and assurance. I know this is going to happen for me. Complete night and day energy. And you see the Queen of Swords, this could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but the Queen of Swords is a person who has been through a lot. So I can see why you would be going through this type of energy. And that can be Gemini energy as well, opposite energy representing the sign of Gemini. But air energy can be an overthinker. And it can go in that negative thought process because of the experiences, right? Don't worry, you've learned your lesson. This is you cutting ties and moving forward. This is you dealing with a person who has made a decision to come in and present you with this offer, with this opportunity, with this truthful communication that is going to restore that balance inside of you a little bit. I don't mean like karmic justice. It's going to help you feel one no more rocking, worry, peace, worry, peace, right? It's going to bring that sense of balance. Now, the third card that flew out is actually going to be toward the end of the week, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And let me pull your card first, because this is good. So we have the five of wands. This is competition, and you may be worried. You may be very worried, whatever it is that you do for a living or whatever direction you're getting ready to go into, there might be a lot of competition. This is, this is competitive. Uh, this is bickering back and forth with family within you. <laughs> this is inner conflict in you. But once we heal all that, then we can take that baby step forward and we can make the changes we need to make. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they are coming in to give truthful, they have made a decision to come in and give you information, give you the divorce, give you the legal documents, whatever it is that you need so that it's going to, boom, <laughs> it's going to push the wheel forward. It's going to make the change to restore the balance like i was talking about with that two of pentacles but there's this huge sense of shift in you over the next two to three weeks where the shift is going to come from the negative into the positive 
very, very important that anybody around you that's negative, you persevere through it. Doesn't mean you kick them out, <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it, it means that when they say something negative, you just let it roll off your back. And that's not easy to do because if they're triggering you, it's gonna bring you right back here to worry. So perseverance, is what's gonna bring you into peace. It's what's gonna bring you the resolve and the outcome that you really want. So I like this, this is very good um, as far as making sure that um, you understand balance is key over the next two to three weeks. Again, when an opportunity comes, we have to be in balance if we overthink it we could lose it with the competition around you. You've got to be balanced. You've got to be aware. You've got to be grounded. Okay, here's the opportunity. Let me grab it. Nope, that's the wrong one. Nope, that's the right one. You see? So equally with love. So let me pull uh, a couple more messages for you as well. And also, you guys, uh, Connections Live Friday the 17th at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And that's what I'm going to try that, that date but we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'll answer questions. There'll be one topic every week and I will give uh, free readings, et cetera, as well um, out. I have a question I'll ask and that'll be posted. If you click the bell, I'll post that tomorrow. Isaiah, it is a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So, for some of you, this is you starting, a, like I said, a new opportunity. And this could be you starting a brand new business where you're making sure the legal documentation is ready. You're putting all your ducks in a row. And right now, it's that energy of, of the shifting, of the change that we're going through. And it could even be acclimating. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to do because it's not done, you know. So when it comes to romance, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So some of you, like I said, this opportunity coming in, this offer, this brand new giving birth to something new, cutting ties with what made you feel negative, you are ready to move into the brand new you. You're ready to start this beautiful, um, positive shift. So over the next two to three weeks, keep grounded. Focus on grounding down below. You'll see a link to my guided meditation video on Vimeo. It's a guided meditation by me. <laughs> And that could help you very much to keep you in balance over the next two weeks. Whatever it is, I do hope to see you um, on the 17th. Have an amazing next two weeks and much love.